Right everybody, so we're back at the Renault Scenic with the instrument panel problem. So I managed to get a wiring diagram for it. I signed up to All Data for a 15 day trial and they gave me, I got provided with a pin out of this thing. So what I'll do, I'll take you through what I found out, but I think my initial diagnosis was correct anyway. So we'll have the three multi-plugs. So we've got the grey, we've got the black, and then we've got the other black multi-plug just right there. So that one, I'm sure, is for the sat-nav system. And the middle one, this multi-plug here, this is the one that it powers up via the few, one of the fuses down here. So what it is, when I pinned out the first time, you can see there, pins two and three, these are power and ground. So I've just used little pins from a Raspberry Pi, you know, the GPIO pins, and I've got them onto my, my Load Pro, right? So they're actually reverse, but doesn't it matter? So you can see my reading there is 11.94 volts. So I'll go and hit the button and load up this circuit and see if it maintains, it's a, it can take a load, basically. So I'll hit this button just like that. And then if you go here, you can see there that's holding its voltage fine. So if I let the button go, back to 11.94. So that voltage supply is good. So all I have to hit, check now is the other voltage supply on, I think it's, it's on the grey multi-plug. Wait, I'll just do that at the moment. So here we go. So I've just kept my earth on pin three on the black plug and I plugged into pin two on the grey plug. So you can see there, 11.94. We'll press the button and it maintains its voltage. So the, the earth and the power supplies are all good within this. So the next thing we can check is our can lines. So I'll just get set up and we'll come back to it. Right, maybe we've got a breakthrough here. So according to my wiring diagram, on the grey plug here, pins 15 and 16 are meant to be the can low and can high. So you can see that there. So I'm into the, let's see if I can get closer in there. I'm into the one, two, the third one along in the bottom. So that's pin 15. So I've pinned into there. And I've got my lead. I've took my ground from my breakout box and my yellow lead is on that. And you can see there, I've got absolutely nothing on pin 15. And I've tried it on 16, exactly the same. And just to check to see if my, my meter's okay, we'll go into the breakout box and I'll pin into, I'm going to six. There you go, we've got a can signal there. And then into 14. Can signal there. So the can signals are present, but they are not present up there in the wiring harness. So if it's going to happen here, the guy's going to have to take the dash back out and check his wires to see if there's anything in there. There we go. Cheers. So you can see there, I've took the backing off the, the grey multi-plug and the can high and can low are a white wire and a green wire. And there is absolutely nothing on them. I even tried ohms testing them from the DLC, using my breakout box and seeing if there was continuity. Well, as you expected, there was nothing there. So, I think the way, only way to go about this to go back into the dash and check it. The other one that's got the, the can wire on it as well is, is that other multi plug. I think that just goes right out through to go to the, the radio. So, mmm. Anyway, I don't think we'll be bothered ordering an instrument panel for this when we've not got any CAN bus signals present. So what I tried there was, I took from my DLC box from 6 and 14, I took these two and I, back, I just went in through my probes into these wires here to see if I could do a bypass test, see if I could get CAN communication coming back up in this instrument panel. But sadly, there ain't, so yeah, <coughs> scratch my head, any other thing I could do, but 
a real head scratcher this one I can tell you I'll keep thinking so <clears throat> I've tried to send from my DLC box can high and can low into the back even in this connection here there we go so you see there's a uh, green grey goes in and green white goes in so one of them is can high one can low another one I think pairs off to it's a power steering or I think it's a power steering but I've tried to I've tried to send can signals in there and I'm getting absolutely no response from this unit at all so I've had enough I'm just going to order a unit even though I've not got any can signals present I cannot fathom this one out at all you think there should be can signals here actually it's a real head scratcher anyway cheers right good morning everyone we're back at the the Renault Scenic 2010 1.5 DCI so it's the one with the instrument panel problem so uh, I said initially I thought it was instrument panel and now I'm convinced <laughs> so you can see it's a bit of a frosty morning here this morning I can tell you so anyway this is what I've learned so the importance of wiring diagrams cannot be overemphasized. I was totally barking up the wrong tree by looking at the wrong CAN network. Now, when I seen on the initial wiring diagram when it said CAN, I thought it meant between 6 and 14 CAN high and CAN low, but it wasn't. There's another CAN network in this car, and it goes between 12 and 13. And as you can see on my breakout box, which incidentally goes into the DLC connector down the bottom there, this one there, uh, I haven't got any activity on pins 12 and 13s because that would be denoted by the flashing LEDs. So, if I've not got any activity, I want to check the integrity of the network. Now, as everybody knows, when a CAN network has integrity, it has 60 ohms. So I've got my yellow lead and my black lead. Just use my multimeter, so we'll go and check the, the ohm scale. And you can see there, I have 60 ohms. So there is nothing wrong with this CAN network. So, what I can tell you is on this network is the radio and the instrument panel. If there's anything else on this CAN network, I'll tell you. But I think it's all stuff to do with... Media, well, when I say media, audio, uh, video within the dashboard, so that's okay. But here's a little tip. So see, when I came to it, initially, I never had the dashboard plugged in. So, and I was getting some weird and wonderful figures. So I'll show you this. And I'll dis disconnect that multi-plug there. And, oh dear. There we go. So that was the initial figures I was getting. 24,000 ohms. So I was like, oh, this is some network, this. I couldn't understand that. So uh, but what it is, the termin terminating resistors must be within this the instrument panel. So we'll plug in the black one. And you'll see it go to 100. There you go. It goes to 120 ohms, and then we'll go and plug in the grey one. Focus down here. When you plug in the grey one, you get 60 ohms. So, what I'm saying is, we've got good powers and good grounds, because I've checked the wiring diagram and I showed you that in an earlier video, or the last video. So I'm indeed condemning the instrument panel because I was thinking about this. In order to get flashing lights, where is the source of the CAN activity? And I am thinking to myself, it must be within the instrument panel that hits like a, must be, it must act like a gateway. And everything else must be subsidiary to that. Well, I'm not really sure, but we're going for the instrument panel. But here then lies the problem. 
So, when I was checking on, well, let's rewind. This car is immobilised, because I'll show you that in the scan tool. It says immobiliser active. But when you go on eBay and you want to buy the kit for this car, all it comes with is the engine ECU, the body control module, and uh, I think it's the, the key card, the key card reader. So, and I also asked, is it Ren parts, Renault parts? And he said, no, the mobiliser is not within the instrument panel. But what I'm thinking here is this is an early edition of the, this is an early edition of the Mark III uh, Scenic. So there must be an immobiliser function within that, or at least the mobiliser has to talk to this in order it, for it to release the key or the token or however it works. So, we will order another instrument panel and uh, I'll let you know how I get on. But, the importance of wiring diagrams, as I said to you, I signed up to all data. So, I quite like that actually. And, uh, that gave me some direction, but, <coughs> quick tip, can... <laughs> The CAN network's not always on pin 6 and 14 that you're looking for. Sometimes it can be other places. This one's 12 and 13, but other times it could be any of these pins except 16, 4 or 5. But the rest, eh. Anyway, I'll let you know how I get on. What a struggle. Cheers.